She ain't in our space. I mean, you want to say? I feel like she's like pretty up there at this point. I mean, she's up there because people are watching a train wreck. Damn, Tasha K too. I always say that when famous people start inserting themselves in Hollywood drama, then things are pretty thick. And as far as Krishan Rock is concerned, she's not even here for anyone giving her advice about Blueface and their child. And that includes Miss Kiki Palmer, who thought it was wise to publicly give her advice on being a new mom, even though she has Krishan's number and could have easily reached out privately. I bet you have seen how Blueface and Krishan have been going back and forth on social media after he revealed that their son has a medical condition, right? In the back and forth, Blue called Krishan an unfit mom and he slammed her for delaying surgery for their son and missing medical appointments for the baby. Well, now even celebrities are getting involved in the drama and one of the people who gave her two cents is another new mom, Kiki Palmer. Kiki posted, this is so sad to me, especially as a new mom. I didn't want to say nothing or involve myself in anything, but my heart is breaking breaking for all involved. This is exactly what maternal health care is about. In addition, Kiki reminded people that it doesn't matter how they feel about Krishan, because at the end of the day, she still deserves adequate help and care. Then she continued by saying, among other things, why doesn't anyone care about her or any of the other mothers that are struggling? She is just one, but the face of many. Was anyone there to help Krishan's mother and support her through maternal health care? How was she able to help her kids as a single mother? Let's just say that Krishan was also not here for people giving their two cents about her situation, especially people who have her number. She actually clapped back at Kiki on X saying, Kiki Palmer, we got each other's number. You chiming in like we don't have each other's number is whatever. Junior's dad is just somebody that I have to really stay away from. I gave him the benefit of doubt, but everyone that's speaking on my behalf, hit my DM or ask me for my number. Krishan also said that contrary to what people think, she does have help. And she added, I got a team and people around me helping more and facilitating what I can. I I kicked out extra money for my kids' childcare and assisting, but I'm not finna keep explaining myself. This is my last tweet for everyone and everybody. Stay up and be blessed. Big Rock, not the little one. Okay, with Kiki inserting herself in the drama, there were tons of reactions from people, with people saying that Kiki was just wasting her time with Krishan because Krishan is just an attention seeker who will probably not take her advice anyway. On the other hand, some people said that Kiki is in no position to be giving anyone advice, especially since she's got one hell of a mess to deal with herself. Just the other day, Kiki was making headlines when Usher serenaded her in Vegas as she was dressed in a black bodysuit which was draped with a sheer dress. Her baby daddy Darius did not like the situation and he tweeted blasting Kiki about her choice of outfit saying, it's the outfit though, you a mom. And as if his first tweet was not enough, Darius posted a follow-up tweet adding, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother of his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others and he gets told how much of a hater he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Kiki and Darius also had a bit of a back and forth after their breakup, with sources saying that Darius wanted primary custody of their child since he had been the primary caregiver for Leo. And so it apparently made sense for him to get custody. And since Kiki was the breadwinner of the family, he apparently also suggested that he should get child support. In addition, sources also claimed that Darius said that since he had been living in Kiki's Los Angeles mansion, he believed that he deserved to get her home too, and that it made sense that Darius should get the house since Leo was born in that house, and so he should continue to be raised there without disruption. I mean, let's not forget that just like Blueface, Kiki's baby daddy had also made headlines for telling his previous girlfriend to get rid of a pregnancy. Taylor Marie is the one who spilled that tea, accusing Darius of leaving her so that he could be with the girl that has more money. According to Taylor, Darius pressured her to get rid of her pregnancy just three weeks before he went public with his relationship with Kiki. She even uploaded a short clip on TikTok and added text to the video that read, when he gets you pregnant, presses you to have an AB, and three weeks later is booed up with Kiki Palmer. So given Kiki's own issues with her baby daddy, the internet was just like, um, maybe she should not be on social media giving Krishan advice. Followers also noted that if Kiki's heart was really breaking and she was so overly concerned that she should have tried reaching out in private. But the fact that she decided to post on social media mean
means that she's probably also just seeking attention. If you ask me, we can say a lot about Kiki's questionable choice in a partner, but she appears to be a mother who is making sure her child is good though. I agree that she probably should have reached out privately, but at least her baby isn't crying all over her lives while she paces and rants about her baby daddy 24 hours a day. On the other hand, you know, maybe Krishan is just genuinely tired of people talking about her situation. Remember Tasha Kay also said that people are talking about her because she is a train wreck. Tasha shared those thoughts on Rock during an episode of No Jumpers podcast, where she said that it almost doesn't need to be a train wreck anymore. We've seen that. And I can't name any of the girls right now, but you know, we've seen the train wrecks and then once it goes away, nobody's watching. Tasha also noted that Krishan is getting a lot of attention because she's playing the victim. But to her, she is no victim. She's not a victim. I mean, sh she's not. Like, I'm not going back to blue. Next thing you know, you see her on live kissing him on his arm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then fuck you blue. Like it's, it's, that she's a victim and people are feeling sorry for her. They're hoping one day she's gonna win. And once she does win, it's gonna get boring. Other than Tasha, there was also Cardi B, who also gave her two cents about the situation. What I would advise is that whenever like you start feeling like emotional, that means you might not think it's postpartum, but it's postpartum. So when that happens, go outside, take a breather, go drink some coffee, go eat some lunch on your own. Um, when you're like a new mom, like the new schedule overwhelms you. So just do something, you know, this was something that calmed you down. Well, Krishan didn't directly respond to the other celebs, but when it comes to Kiki, after basically telling her to stay in her own lane, Krishan later said that it was all a misunderstanding and that they are cool. She apologized to Kiki for misreading her comments on her struggles with parenthood and wrote, Me and Kiki talked. I'm glad Kiki entered the chat. Other mothers should uplift each other instead of other ish. I'm sorry, Kiki. I read it wrong and got to pop in my ish because this ish is so sensitive right now. I'm just done with people speaking up against me through a sensitive situation right now. And in response, Kiki said, I understand you have a right to be sensitive. You just had a baby. Let's keep praying for one another. No one can judge you. God has the final say. Now put a name on my hashtag for real this time. So that's cool. But in more Krishan and Blueface drama, Blueface has denied any wrongdoing after he came under fire for posting a picture of Krishan Jr.'s medical condition amid his social media feud with Krishan. He has since claimed that his phone was stolen and that someone hacked into his social media writing, my phone was stolen yesterday. I got a new one, guys. I'm back. My Twitter was hacked. Oh, how very convenient, Blue. Can you believe this man right now? Somebody conveniently stole his phone and posted all those embarrassing and very private things. Wow just wow. I don't even want to get into that huge lie right now. So let me just know what your thoughts are on Kiki Palmer giving Krishan advice on her parenting situation. Do you think it was her place to publicly give advice when she clearly has Krishan's number? Sound off in the comments section below.